What's in love? Thank you, Jesus. Praise, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Today is the day the Lord has made. We will we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Our God is good. Our God is faithful. Our God is amazing. He is an amazing God. We give glory and honor and adoration for bringing this day to pass. I bless his name. I worship him. Hallelujah. Almighty God, we give you thanks. Oh, let us worship the Lord. Let us worship the Lord. As you all know, my name is Evangelist Esther Lainkadia. And today is the second day of our program, media program. Um, my eagle shall soar this year, 2023. Hallelujah. God is good. He brought it to pass. He brought this, this day to us and we are glad we are happy. We are glad. Father, we praise your name. Our Father, we adore you. Jehovah God, we give you all the glory. You are good. You are faithful. Hallelujah. Fly like an eagle. Fly like an eagle. Holy Spirit, give me power to fly like an eagle. Fly like an eagle. Like an eagle, like an eagle, Holy Spirit, give me power to fly like an eagle. Father, we bless your name. Jehovah God, we glorify you. We adore you. We we bless you, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are mighty king. Father, Lord, there is no like you. You seated in the heavenly and make the earth your footstool. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the lily of the valley. You are the ancient of days, the rose of Sharon, mighty everlasting king. Holy Basin Calabasia. We thank you, God, for making us witness today. We thank you, God, as we set this day aside. You brought us to the today, oh God. You made it to come to pass in our lives. Father, receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Everlasting King of glory. I thank you, God, because, oh God, you shall usher in your people, oh God, and they shall come to partake in the sumptuous meal of the Spirit. So they will get energized for the remaining part of the year, for the remaining half of the year, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you because, Almighty King of glory, Father, Lord, people shall not come alone. They shall cannot come in vain. Their lives will be changed for good. Their lives will be transformed for good. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for hope and heavens, O oh Lord, in this place. Thank you for hope and heavens, O oh Lord, on this platform. Did you, King of glory, receive a thanks? In the name of Jesus. Mighty everlasting King of glory, I commit your vessel that you shall use to minister to us today, oh Lord. I pray, Father, that you equip our oh Lord, energize our oh Lord, fill our in, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. The word she shall speak, oh God, shall come directly from your throne of mercy, glory, and power. It's too powerful, oh Lord, to change lives for good in Jesus' name. Our words shall go, shall be precise, and touch the lives of your people tonight, in the name of Jesus. Everyone that comes here and listen to this program, their lives shall never remain the same again in the name of Jesus. On this platform today, oh God, yokes shall be lifted off their shoulders in the name of Jesus. Mighty King, I pray, Father Lord, that chains will be broken from their lives in the name of Jesus. They shall be set free, O oh Lord, for all forms of bondages in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, on this platform tonight, they shall be like quick to fight the battle, to ascend higher, to soar higher like an eagle for the remaining part half of this year in the name of Jesus. Because even though half has gone, we still have half to go. And I know that you are the God that expedites, that quickening, 
and you're going to do it for, to, to, for us tonight. In the name of Jesus, every delaying blessing, uh, every blessing that has been delayed uh, because of this government tonight, uh, because of the blessings we shall receive tonight, uh, we shall be governized uh, and we shall receive all in Jesus' name. Father Lord, continue to empower her. Father Lord, continue to equip her. Jehovah God, we thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you for the power. Thank you for the ministration we shall receive. The food of the spirit to energize our spiritual muscles in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the power to sow that we shall receive tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Everlasting King of glory, Lord, I thank you. Jehovah God, I praise your name. King Jesus, mighty name, we are prayed. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I will be bringing in, I will be bringing in an invited guest. I will be bringing in an invited guest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, let me introduce her to you all. Let me introduce her. Rambasin Kalabasiya. I tell you tonight, you are all blessed to have this great, powerful apostle in our midst. You are all blessed to have this mighty, mighty, powerful woman of God in our midst tonight. Oh, it's going to be powerful. Let me introduce to you the, the, the wonderful, the, 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 the well-equipped, power-packed, power great evangelist, great apostle of the Lord. She has ministered in many platforms, ministered all over the world. She's, 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 I mean, she's well packed and powered by God. They call her Apostle Fire Fire. So you know that all the problems will be consumed tonight in the name of anything holding you back from swearing out will be consumed by fire tonight. I want to introduce you a great woman of God, a woman that God has used to bless even my life upon meeting her. My life did not remain the same again. I want to introduce you to a woman that has been brought up by God to touch this generation for good. Ah, she has come to bless our platform tonight. No matter how small we are, she said she will come, she will bless us. Oh, I want you to welcome this great woman of God, Dr. Apostle Dr. Pastor Mrs. Yemisi Dumoye. So let me bring her on board. Let me bring her on board. Let me bring her on board. I want to bring her on board. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to give all the glory to God. <laughs> you know, I, I love her spirit. I love her soul. I love all the eulogy and everything she said. But I am here to give all the glory back to God. All glory, all accolade belongs to our maker, to our sustainer, our backbone, the one that is the lion of the tribe of Judah. I am nothing without God. I am nothing. God bless everyone that are under the sound of my voice. I want to say God bless you. Thank you, woman of God. Thank you for celebrating Jesus in my life. I am nothing without Jesus. I am nothing without him. Thank you, man. You know, I love you and I celebrate your the grace of God upon you. I celebrate who you are. I celebrate what the Lord is using you to do in this season because there's every prophet for every season. Thank you for being one of the prophets and prophetess that God is using in this season and your ministry. Oh, in the name of Jesus we go for God bless you God bless you for inviting me it is an honor I am not taking it for granted at all at all you have many people that you could have invited but you chose me and I thank God and I thank you God bless you to everyone that are in the house God bless you and I pray for you as you are hearing me that tonight is a night of encounter for you I say to you again you will not come here and go back home the same way you have come 
Jesus. Tonight, the Lord Almighty will meet your need. Tonight, you are going to rise up. Tonight, you are going to walk. Tonight, you are going to be cleansed. Tonight, your garment will change. Tonight, you are going to carry the aura of God. Tonight, you are going to see God in a new way. In the mighty name of Jesus, tonight, the Lord will take you from ground zero and will get you to the mark, take you over to the mountain that you belong because you are a city that is set upon the hill that must not be eaten. If you are eating, if you are hiding anywhere that are caused by the witch or power of the enemy, I pray for you because of your encounter on this altar tonight, your life will move forward. The Lord will remove the veil tonight. We are going to be speaking and you are going to pray. Just join me and be ready, able to pray tonight. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, I had the opportunity to listen to prophetess yesterday. She took her time to explain to us what ego represents. If you have not listened to her, please go back and watch it yesterday. She explained to us the kind of bird that an ego is. And for God to, to, to use an ego and compare it with you and I, it is because it is spiritual. It is because there's something that God wants to do, even in your life, because God does not want you to begin to work as a chicken. God does not see you as just a mere bird. That is why he said you are an ego. And God gave her the title, the title of this three days retreat is my ego must soar. So now I'm, my question is, you that are under the sound of my voice, Voice. Where is your ego? Do you still have what it takes inside of you? And when we're talking about, about soaring, we're talking about rising. You cannot soar and be on the floor. If I'm soaring, I mean, I'm, I, I have a rose. It means that something great has happened in my life. We're talking about soaring. It means that something dramatically happened. There's a, a, a dramatic increase. When the businesswoman said to you that my business, uh, my business saw her this month, that means she enjoyed dramatic profit in her business. So when we're talking about sewing, we're talking about a shift in position. We're talking about a shift in your value. We're talking about a shift in your price. And th th that means that the quality of your life is changing. That is what it means to sew. You are the one that people saw yesterday. You were a failure, but today you are now a success. Something has shifted. When you're talking about my ego must rise, my ego must soar, it means that your, your generation, your destiny, your internal being, everything about you must rise up, must dramatically change. You that used to be this, God will move you from zero. He will move you to 100%. Your atmosphere will change. That is what it means even for you to soar, for you to arise. I don't know where you are and you are under the sound of my voice. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus, that you begin to rise, you begin to soar, in the name of Jesus Christ, the scripture that we always use, whenever we are talking about the ego, we use Isaiah chapter 40, the woman of God spoke about it yesterday, I'm going to take you through other scripture, but I will start from there this night, it was for Isaiah chapter 40, from verse 28, it was saying that, have you not known you, because there's so many of us that are living in ignorance <laughs> and the Bible said, my people perish for lack of understanding we don't understand who we are that is why many Christians today are walking like a mere chicken, they are walking like a mere bird, they even have names that they give to the problems they have names that they give to the birds and Lord, and the Lord, the Lord word of God is saying that you that you are a and you are an ego but you cannot see the ego power coming out of you that is the reason for this three days which is he said have you not known have you not heard that the everlasting God is the Lord? He's the creator of the end of the earth. He never faints and he never weary. This is the word of God for you. There is no way you will be an evil Christian and you will be fainting 
and you'll be weary because that means that the lion of the trap of Judah is living inside of you. It means that the ego power is already inside of you. Can you imagine yourself carrying the, the king of kings inside of you? And the, the, I mean, just imagine if you have ever watched Anima Channel. Animal channel when they start talking about about uh, uh, about a lion, a lion does not just walk. When a lion walk, a lion walk majestically. When an eagle is looking, when an eagle is on the here, I heard I said that yesterday. A eagle target something. A eagle will target my life most prosper. A eagle is targeted. I must be good in life. I, I must make it in life. The eagle never fail anything. If his mind, if the mind of an ego is made listen if the mind of an ego is made to make it no one can change it and the same thing with a lion when the lion is trying to kill an elephant we all know how big an elephant is but let me tell you this today it does not matter how big an elephant is when a, 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 a lion is about to get him or her it is already a prey he said, have you not known? Because God is the only one that can give you the power. He said, he gives power to the weak. Are you weak spiritually today? Are you weak because of sickness? Have you given up on God because of what is going on in your life? Ah, your ego must begin to soar because you have to act like an ego. You will no longer be a mere bird. He said, you don't know that when you're weak, say that you are stronger because greater is he that is in you. First John chapter 4 verse 4b, he said, greater is you, is God that is inside of you than he that is in the world. He said that he is the one that gives power to the weak and that is what the Lord is doing tonight. That is what he's going to do tonight. He said, and to those who have no might, the Lord is going to increase your strength. You are under the sound of my voice. You have no strength to fight. You don't even know what to do because of the situation of life. Hear me today. I have come with a mandate from heaven. I step into the authority that heaven has given unto me. And I pray for you under the sound of my voice tonight that in the name of Jesus, let your strength be renewed so that you can fly like an eagle so that you can soar like an eagle in the name of Jesus. He said, God gave strength to the weak. <laughs> he gave strength to the weak. He gave strength to the weak. He gave strength to the weak. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. <laughs> he said, the young man shall utterly destroy her. They shall utterly be falling. He said, but those that wait on the Lord, I don't know where you are in your journey of life. Where are you in your journey of life? Are you just waiting? Or, or, or have you given up on everything? You have told yourself, I'm tired. I just feel like dying. I don't think I want to pursue this career anymore. I don't think I want to go to God anymore. I don't think I want to go to church anymore. He said, but those that wait on the Lord, are you sure you are waiting on the Lord? Have you been praying on the law, you act, God must find you in the place of waiting. That is why he said, those that wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Because in your place of waiting, that is where you are shedding away. You are shedding away. You are shedding away every problem. In the place of your waiting, that is where you are shedding failure. In the place of your waiting, that is where you are shedding barrenness. In the place of your waiting, that is where you are shedding every attack over your life. You are shedding cancer. You are shedding arthritis. You are shedding tumor. You are shedding everything that are standing on your way. He said, those that wait on the Lord, they shall mount up with wings as eagle. You need that because where you are waiting, listen, where you are waiting, God is renewing your strength. Where you are waiting on the Lord is putting a new garment on you. Where you are Waiting on the Lord is putting the all armor of God is putting it on you. Where you are waiting, I don't know where you are tonight. I am sent to you, that woman. I am sent to you, that man. That in the place of your waiting, in the name of Jesus, in this place that you are waiting, he said you are beginning to soar. I want you to rise up wherever you are. If you are not driving and you can rise up, I want you to roar. I want you to roar like a lion because in the place of your ruin you are getting your wings your wings are multiplying and you will see yourself you are flying 
in the name of Jesus. He said, those that wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Those that wait on the Lord, those that wait on the Lord, he said, they shall renew their strength and they will begin to mount up. They will begin to mount up with wings with wings uh, as eagle, <laughs> with wings uh, as eagle, uh, with wings uh, as eagle. Uh, it's not the kind of wings that you flap. It's a wing that is taken by the almighty God. It's not the kind of wings uh, that you can, uh, that you can just say, well, this is just a mere wings. No, this is a wing that is going to be put there by your heavenly father. You know why? <laughs> because you were found in the place of wedding. You cannot be gallivanting everywhere <laughs> and you are thinking that God is going to see you. No, you have to be in a solitude place so that you can hear God. He said, those that wait on me, they will hear my instruction and I will tell them, don't go to this place. I will tell them, open the scripture. I will tell them, this is the way to do. He said, they shall not be weary. Oh, they shall, they shall walk and they shall not faint. Many reasons. In life, <laughs> why, why, why we, we, why we are stagnated in life uh, is because there's a, there are so many obstacles that I, that I wrote down in my book and I'm not going to use many of them because of our time I want us to pray. You know, there's so many obstacles that is, that is affecting our sowing. One of them is sin. If you are living in sin, you cannot sow. Let me be honest with you. If you are a sinner, forget it. If you are a sinner, God does not want sinner to perish. He wants you to come to his knowledge because in the presence of God, when you give your life to Christ, uh, where you forget everything that has to do with sin, uh, and you begin to run with Jehovah, you will see that your strength will be renewed. You begin to sow. Uh, things that were not working before will begin to work. Uh, because he said, come unto me, all ye that are labor and are every lady. And it is my own duty uh, as your savior to give you rest. Uh, you begin to find rest, uh, even only in your ways. Uh, he said, those are the one of the things uh, that is an obstacle to why you are not so happy. You are in the church, uh, you are in the ministry, but things are not working right uh, because you have not let go of your sin. Uh, you are still holding on to the pastor. This is the way they used to do it in my family. This is the way my father does it. Uh, this is is the way my mother does it. Is that the way Jesus told you to do it? Is that what you read in the Bible? That is the reason why your egos are not so worried. That is one of the things. Another thing that causes it is the flesh. When you depend on the flesh, or you get angry easily, you get irritated easily, you just talk anyhow. When your mouth is supposed to be the mother God is going to be using in this end time, you just waste the word of God. Your flesh is overcoming everything in your life. You are not permitting the spirit of God even to work in your life. There is no way you can sow and we are here even to let you know that so early, like an eagle is the evidence of a child of God. Hallelujah. Or, or also, when you have association with bad companies, you cannot soar. There is no way because as you are trying to move, they will be pulling you back. Wherever you are, if you're under the sound of my voice and you are, have all these attributes inside of you, I want you to begin to tell yourself, I am coming out because it is time for me to sow. The Bible said, those that wait, those that wait, those that wait on the Lord, go and go with me to the book of Psalm 1. Let me read something quickly to us in Psalm 1, and I will read verse 1. Psalm 1 says, it says, blessed is the man who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. You cannot sow if you are walking in the counsel of the ungodly. No, these are the word of God. You cannot sow if all that you believe in uh, is to be in the counsel of the ungodly. If you are standing in the path of the sinners, there is no way your ego must can sow. And you are sitting in the seat of the scornful. He said, no, the only reason, the only caveat, the only thing and the right that you have, even is when you begin to do from verse 3, verse 2 of Psalm 1. Verse 2 of Psalm 1 say, but your delight must be in the law of the Lord. And in this law, you meditate day and night. Then, then, look at that. You shall not be like a tree, in verse 3, 
that is planted by the rivers of waters, the one that brings forth its fruit in its season, who will sleep also shall not wither. Is that what you want to begin to experience in this life? Your lips must no longer wither. You must no longer be with the sinners, with the comforts, or sit with them. Because the purpose of these three days is to change your mentality, is to comfort your spirit that is dead, is to see you fulfilling purpose in life and in destiny, is to see you be gravitating toward the purpose of God for your life. That is why we are here. I want you to go with me to the book of, uh, I love this scripture. In the book of Ezekiel 37, Ezekiel 37, many of us know the scripture, but I want to take you through it from reading from verse 10. The Bible declared that a man of God was sent even to a dry land. He went to a dry land. Many of you are under the sound of my voice. Your land is dry. You just don't understand why you cannot get it. Your lands are dry. There is drought. You cannot remember the last time that you become flourish. You cannot talk about flourishing in any area. I am sent to you tonight uh, because you are encountering the God of this altar. You are going to encounter the God of the universe. Uh, they said that the man of God said the spirit uh, of the Lord took me uh, and he took, took me to the place of, of a dead bone where nothing is working. Are uh, you somebody like that tonight uh, that I am sent to everything in your life they are dead. The past six months have been rough. You don't even know what to do. You have cried in the night. You cried in the daytime. You were asking God for help, but it seems like no help is coming. I want you to hear me because you are living in a dead land. You are living in a drought, in a desert. Nothing good can come out of that. Except you invite the Lord Jesus into that place. The Bible says now that God now told the prophet, can you prophesy? Can you prophesy upon this thing that are not working right? <laughs> the man of God said, Lord, only you know. Only you know if I prophesy, is it going to come to pass? And I'm saying to you too today, are you ready to let go of your old ways? Are you ready to move with the Lord? You know what the Bible says? And the man of God began to prophesy. He began to prophesy. The Bible said the bone began to come back to the bone. Everything that was there, they came to life. His life began to make many. Not only did he become somebody, the Bible said he became a great army. And I'm praying for someone under the sound of my voice. After this three days encounter, may you be get, become even a great army in the name of Jesus. May your ministry flourish. May your life flourish. Psalm 92 declare. He said, those that live in the house of the Lord uh, must flourish. Uh, I pray for you to flourish uh, like a palm tree. Uh, I pray that you begin to sow. Uh, you begin to move ahead in life. Uh, your life will never be long longer be stagnated uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says to you uh, in the book of First, Second Peter, Sorry, First Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. He said, you are a chosen generation. A chosen generation does not lack. A chosen generation does not beg. A chosen generation is not a chicken. A chicken can be killed anyhow. A bird can be killed anyhow. But you cannot kill an eagle anyhow. You cannot kill an eagle anyhow. Just mere looking at the eagle, you will be afraid. Let me say this to you. I think... A few months ago, I came out of my, my, my house. I was going out driving and I saw this is, not, this is not a movie. I think I sent it to some people. I saw an eagle. Can you, uh, this is a real life story that happened to me. I came out, I was going to the store, came out of my garage and I saw a live eagle, not dead, at my doorpost. It's like if I had gone, if I had opened the front door, the eagle would come into my house. I was afraid. I, I didn't even know whether it was an owl or it was an eagle. I had to Google. I Googled it and I said, oh my God. So an eagle came to visit me in my house. Everyone was watching. I, I recorded it, I said, because I did not know what it is. And I started asking God, what is the meaning of this? And, and I think I send it to some people that are, that are prophets, that know God, you know, that are higher up there. And they told me that God is telling me something and something. Everybody was giving me words. But I know what an ego represents in the spirit. 
it's about time for me to show up. It's time for me to move forward. I thought I was already strong, but the Lord said, no, your ego must rise. Maybe I've been praying some prayer that I don't know, but this ego came to me physically. I called my husband. I was trying to send the ego away. I, when I threw the, I didn't know what it was then. He, he would look back and look at me and just stand still. And I drove up. Then I, then I said, thinking, let yeah, me see what just happened. What, what was that? Then I drove back before I came, it was gone. I, I, maybe I could have, I don't know what I could have done, but maybe I would have treated the ego better. But the ego came. I'm in America. This ego came to my doorpost. You don't see animals like that. But it came in the physical to my doorpost. Beautiful, beautiful bird. And then by the time I called my husband, there's a bird at the door, this and that, it was gone. His assignment was for me to see that it is of a true and ego exists. I know it does, but now coming to my own house, who am I? But God sent it to me. God sent me a life ego that we're reading about today. He cannot be killed because he's big. I can't, I was throwing stone, he was not going. Well, what am I going? Uh, what am I saying? And where am I going with this? I am letting you telling you today that all the things that are in the word of God, they are they are spiritual and they are physical. You just have to be connected with them. You have to be connected to see even the manifestation of the power of God. When you are ready for your ego to soar, you must be you must engage yourself in prayer. An ego is not a just an animal of just one day. It's an animal that grew up even in the place of preparation. You must begin to prepare yourself because you cannot become an ego one day. You continue to sow. You continue to pray. You continue to see God. You continue to move forward and you will begin to see God enlarging you spiritually. Enlarging you physically. Your finances will begin to enlarge because we're going to pray. That is why we're coming back to Ezekiel 37 so that we'll pray. But I want you to know tonight because of my time that you must sow in the remaining part of 2023. Your life, your ministry, your marriage, your children's everything, your business, your career, they must sow like an eagle. There is no more timidity. An eagle is not afraid of other birds. Even when eagle is flying, I bet you all the small, small birds will begin to flee because that is their king. That is the, the boss coming. It's that when, when, when the lion is roaring, every other animal run because they know their life is at stake. Their life can be taken anyhow. The same thing when an eagle is flying. You see other birds, they are giving way for him. I pray for someone under the sound of my voice today that in the name of Jesus, your eagle will begin to soar. Every other less bird, they will begin to power in the name of Jesus. I say your ego is soaring. I say you are moving forward. Your ministry is so hurry. Your ministry is so hurry. Your life is so hurry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in any area that your ego has been stagnated, maybe your ego has been wounded. Hear me today. We are praying for your ego to be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know, I told you when the ego came, I threw stone at the ego. I did not know it was an ego. Maybe I injured it. Maybe I injured it. I don't know. But he flew away. It, that thing will take time for him to heal. I don't know why the Lord is bringing this to me, but I want to pray for someone that is under the sound of my voice. Maybe your ego has been wounded. That is why he cannot sow her. I am praying for you today. May the early hand of God, may he come upon that your ego right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you have been wounded in the spirit, may Jehaku Setelian Makataria, your Liketulian Makotoria, I pray for you in the name of Yeshua and Mashiach. May there be instant healing for you in the name of Jesus. Maybe you have been wounded in the place of prayer. I pray for you today. May the garment of healing rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord heal you in the name of Jesus Christ. I said before that you know yourself. You are a chosen generation. That is why you must sow. You are not just a non-entity. You are not just a time waster. You are not here to just be one of them. You are a, an important person. That is why God has your name at the palm of his hand. That is why he was mindful of you. He said in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1, he said, while you are still in your mother's womb, I have thought about you. 
you. I had made you a prophet. He said that your name is written at the palm of my hand. You know why? Nothing can go to the hand of God and erase your name. It does not matter who. It does not matter what. Your name is engraving at the palm of Jehovah. That is why you have to sue because the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. God, your father, is the owner of everything. And I've come to prophesy upon every one of you today that in the name of Yeshua, let doors be opened unto you, Catholic. Anything that is caging, even your ego, any power caging your ego that does not allow your ego to fly, I command that power to die. I command that power to be frustrated. I command that power to be frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. My ego must soar. My ego is soaring continuously. It's not a one-day journey. It's not a two-day journey. I say it's not a three-day journey. It's going to be generational. It's going to be extended to my generation, up to the tenth generation. That is why you're going to be saying, I want you to pray with me. I can't tell you anymore. Let me read the scripture before we go pray. Hallelujah. I want to read something to you in the book of Agai. Then we're going to pray. Please pardon me because I'm mindful of the time. Hallelujah. In the book of Agai chapter 2, listen. Agai chapter 2, I will read from verse 19. There was something that the Lord told me. Then we'll go to verse, verse 9, but let me read verse 19. He said, is this seed still in the burn? Are you still in Christ? As yet the vine, the victory, the promogranate, and the olive tree have not yielded fruit. So you have been in Christ, but there is nothing to show for it. <laughs> Listen to me. The Lord told me this yesterday. You are, you are in the church. You are married. And you have nothing to show for being married. Hmm. Your children are not profitable. Your marriage are not, uh, are, your marriage is not fruitful. Everything is just going down. The Bible says, but from this day, the 38th day in the month of June, 2023, I will bless you. Did somebody catch that? He said from today, <laughs> though you are be unfruitful from to, be, before today, you have been struggling to make it in life before today. You have been praying, but the prayer does not seem to be answered before today. You have been asking God, when are you going to come to my head before today? You have been asking for increase before you come in contact with me praying for you today. He said, but because you are here and you are listening, even to this pronouncement from my mouth, because you will come back and watch the replay of this video, because you are sharing to others, because you are typing amen, because you are on the on Zoom, because you are on Facebook, he said, I will bless you. <laughs> I will bless you. Hey. And he said also in, in verse 9, he said, the glory of the latter temple will be greater than the former. The Lord of hosts. And in this place, listen, listen, on this line tonight, he said, I will give peace says the Lord. This, I just, if you don't remember anything we have been saying since yesterday, please remember Agai chapter 2, verse 9 and verse 19. The Lord says, it does not matter the glory that you had in the past. It does not matter all the money that you had before today. It does not matter how rich you are. He said, but from today, I am increasing everything. Because sorry means, like I said when I started, sorry means a dramatic change in your situation. If you're already a thousand year, the Lord is moving you to the position of a billionaire. If you are a billionaire, you are moving to the billionaire. If you're already a billionaire, the Lord is moving to a trillionaire that you cannot even count how much you have in the name of Jesus. He said, from today, I will bless. And the Bible said, the blessing of the Lord is the only one that can make rich 
and there will be no sorrow. There will be no sorrow added to it. In the name of Jesus, this was not part of my, of my note, but this is what the Lord said, because there's someone on this line that needs to hear this from me. There's someone that is under the sound of my voice that need this word. He said today, from today, you are becoming a blessing, not just your own blessing, but a generational blessing. There's someone that is under even the sound of my voice that the Lord said I will give you peace, peace in your home. Peace in your business, peace in your community, peace in your church, peace in every areas of your life. Wherever you go, you carry, you carry the peace of God. You carry the blessing of God in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. Let's go back. Let's go back to this scripture in the book of Ezekiel. I want you to pray because you must show her, because you must rise, because you must show her, because you must rise from the, the book of Ezekiel 37. Let me read it again from verse 10. It says, so I prophesy as he has commanded me. If we begin to read from verse 7, he was talking about what I said before. But look at it. He said, when he asked him, can you prophesy? Can you pray? Can you see something good coming out of this, of this retreat? Do you see God changing your life during this retreat? The Bible says, he said, yes, I do. Before he was afraid, I don't think I can do it. You know why? Because nobody in my family had ever come to America. Nobody in my family had ever been to United Kingdom. Nobody in my my family had ever bought a car. Nobody in my family ever stay more than two years in a marriage. Ah, I am so afraid. The Bible said, begin to prophesy. Look beyond the dead bone. Look beyond the, the, the tradition. Look beyond what your parents got went through. Look beyond what you are saying. I want you to see God in a new way. I want you to open your eyes. Begin to prophesy. I am not going to do it for you, but you are going to do it for yourself. The Bible says, Ezekiel began to prophesy. And he said, he began to prophesy. If we look at verse 8, he said, indeed, as I begin to prophesy, and I look, the sinew, the flesh, they begin to come together. This is what you are going to do with me today. You are under the sound of my voice. I want you to begin to pray, begin to command Command your flesh and your spirit. Command them to come together. Command everything that you have lost. Command them to come out in the name of Jesus. Because you need all this that you have lost. So that you can show her. So that you can show her. So that you can rise. So that you can rise. Can you can to turn the relationship? Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to pray with me? Can you pray with me? Can you pray with me? I want you to pray, Father. Even from today, let my ego rise. Everything my ego needs, even to rise on the wings of God, let it be supplier. He said, I will supply your needs according to my riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Can you pray? Can you pray with me? All that my ego will need, all that is required of my ego to fly, to soar, oh God, let it be released. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that prayer. I want someone to type that prayer. Everything that my ego will need, able to soar, every strength, every wings, everything that he needs to soar. Oh God, supply. In the name of Jesus, everything that is needed, even for me to get to the next level. Oh God, supply. You know, when ego begins to soar, ego is living the former level. Ego flew to the next level. That is what it means. I want you to pray after these three days as I cross over to the month of July I am so happy to the next level in the name of Jesus, I am soaring to the next level. I am living this level. I don't know the level that you are in, but I want you to tell yourself, I am living this level in the name of Jesus, because my ego must soar. My ego must soar. I want you to pray that prayer. Convince, convince yourself that no longer will my ego be stagnated. No longer will my ego be wounded. No longer will my ego be bedridden. No longer will my ego have cancer. No longer will there be a tumor upon my ego. No longer will my ego have high blood pressure. No longer will my ego be broke. No longer will my ego be on the same spot. In the name of Yeshua, I want you to pray with me that in the name of Jesus, God, oh God, from today, oh my soul, oh God, from tonight, if you're 
watch it anywhere over the world from this day from tonight, uh, from this afternoon, from this evening, uh, my ego is so heavy. Uh, I am no longer on the same spot. Uh, I am no longer reloading. We, 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 what, what is the word am I even looking for to say? I am no longer at the back. Uh, I am not at the back. Uh, I am no longer at the back. Uh, my ego is moving to the front. Uh, my ego is moving forward in life. Uh, I want you to pray for yourself. Uh, even from today, uh, I am moving forward. Uh, I am being increased. Uh, increased in every area when an ego soar an ego an ego increase when an ego have you seen a boy let me give you this so that you can imagine what i'm saying when you see a boy that is not flying i don't know if you have seen a horn or ego at least you've seen them on the tv when they are not soaring when they are not flying they're like this small but when they want to fly guess what when they want to soar everything is expanded did somebody catch that in the spirit? I pray for you, may you expand. <laughs> may your ego expand. I said, may your ego expand in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, may you expand in every areas of life. May you expand to the north. May you expand to the east. May you expand to the west. May you expand to the south. In the middle of your journey, may you expand because your ego is about to rise. Your ego will no longer be on the bottom because the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy 28, it says he sees you as the head not a tail. May you no longer operate on the bottom. I call you off. I pull you up. I pull you up. In the name of Jesus, I pull you off. Can you imagine the book of John chapter 3? I mean, John chapter 5. The Bible was talking about the man that was sitting at the beautiful gate. How can you be sitting there at the gate of a beautiful place? For years, you did not even think about going in. Is that is It is a mentality of retrogression. It is a mentality of medical. I want you to pray for yourself. I will not only be looking at the beautiful place. I will get in there. My life will be beautiful because my ego is so hurry. In the name of Jesus, my ego is so worried. <laughs> the ego of my children must soar. The ego of my husband must soar. The ego of my marriage must soar. My business ego must soar. I must enter the beautiful gate. Every good thing in life will be mine. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible said, God asked Ezekiel, can you prophesy? <laughs> can you prophesy? Are you prophesying upon your life? I, or are you sending negative things to yourself? What are you saying to yourself? The Bible says, and he began to prophesy. And as he began to prophesy, things began to change. As you are praying with us today, ah, I see change in your life. Because you are on this altar, your life will no longer remain the same. It is the promise of God. He said the prophesy, and everything begin to receive their part. Every part begin to come together. Every part begin because he's the owner of the part in our body. He's the one that can fix you where you are broken. He's the one that can heal you where you're hurting. He's the one that can change your garment. If you remember Zechariah chapter 2, when the priest was standing there, I don't have the time, so I'm, not, I'm just going to paraphrase. The Bible said he commanded the angel that are standing with him, take off the old garment and put a new garment. I pray for someone that is here. May the garment that is needed for your next level, may heaven put it upon you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you prophetically that that garment that, that everyone will see and they'll begin to favor you. They'll begin to honor on you. May that garment be over you. May that garment be put on you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your head. May there be nothing evil on your head. May there be a new, a, a new, a, a new turban. Wow, that's what I see God doing right now. I see God putting on someone that is under the sound of my voice. I see God roping you with a new turban because the one that you had before you came here today, oh, my cattle, oh, it's messed up. It's smelling. You have been beaten and bitter, and it's no longer needed for your head because of what the Lord is doing in your life. I see God putting a new, a new one upon your head. I see God changing it for you, and I see everyone that are under 
hear the sound of my voice. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 11 that the man Lazarus was dead. I see you, maybe you have been dead, but the Lord said you are not dead. He said you are sleeping. He said that dead is not unto death. That your sleeping is not unto death. I see you coming out. I see you coming out of the tomb. I see you coming out of the grave. I see your finances coming out. Your marriage coming out. Your children coming out. You that are in the hospital. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing. You are coming out of that bed. You are coming out of the black atollion. I pull you out in the spirit. I pull you out in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pull your finances out. I pull your wife out. I pull your husband out. I pull your children out. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible declare in the book of Matthew. It said the tree that is not planted but my father shall be rooted out. We are here today to root out everything that God has not put in your life. The reason why your ego is not soaring, it's not scriptural, it's a tree that has not allowed you to move forward in life. We stand and agree with the woman of God on this altar tonight that those trees, let them catch fire. He got those Sotolian and Let them catch fire. Every stagnation catch fire. Every veil that has covered you, cover you from being seen by your emperor. May it catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. May your life have a 360 degree. It will turn around from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Your struggles are over. As you enter the month of July, you begin to dominate. In the month of July 2023, I say you dominate. I say you move forward. Every battle that are waiting for you in the month of July, may they be defeated. The Bible says uh, that so shall it be. Uh, when your enemy come against you one way, uh, they will be scattered several ways. Uh, he said in Exodus 14, 15, he said, uh, 14, 14, I will fight for you uh, and you will hold your peace. May the Lord fight for you. May you May you see the hand of God, even like never before, in the month of July 2023, I say you are crossing over to favor, you are crossing over, even to mercy, you are crossing over, even to enjoy the best of life, in the name of Jesus, you are crossing over to see the hand of God, you are crossing over to move mountain, you are crossing over to take over, you are crossing over to take over, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will begin to see God, you will begin to see good things happening, even in your life. Uh, anyone under the sound of my voice, uh, that their destiny has been stolen. Uh, your destiny has been stolen. I want you to hear me as I hear God, uh, that they are being restored today. I said there's a restoration. Mm. There's a restoration today. God is restoring you. God is restoring you. God is giving you back all that you have lost. God is replacing that for you. God is fixing you back. He's fixing your foundation. Everyone with a faulty foundation, the Lord is fixing it. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Psalm 40, he said, he brought me out of the Mary clay and he set my feet upon the rock. Ah, may the Lord set your feet upon the rock in the month of July. May you not struggle. May you not die. May you not be kidnapped. May you not be gone down. May nothing evil happen to you. In the name of Jesus. May you not mourn in the month of July. May you not cry because your ego are so hairy. You are so hairy. What you, can, don't, don't, what you don't even know you can accomplish. Accomplish it as you go forward. I begin to accomplish them as you go forward in life. As you go forward in the ministry. As you go forward spiritually. As you go forward physically, emotionally, financially. May you begin to see the end of God. May you be favored in the name of Jesus. May there be no pain in your life. May you not struggle. <laughs> may you not struggle in the month of July. Hear me. May you not struggle. I say it again. May you not struggle. As the Lord is changing your garments, may people that need to see you begin to see you. Some of you, the reason why your helpers are not seeing you is because you are wearing a, a, a faulty garment. You are walking, you are walking in around with a wrong garment. But I pray for you that tonight your garments are renewed. Ah, I say your garments are renewed. The Lord is putting a new garment. Oh my God, the Lord is wearing upon you a, a, a new garment. The one that have no stain. The one that every Every of your destiny.
person they will see. And they will ask you, where have you been all this while? I have been looking for you. I don't even know that you are here. May that uh, may, may you become attraction uh, even to your helpers. Listen to me. I'm about to, to, to round up, uh, but I want to pray because this was in my heart. Uh, this has been bothering my heart. Uh, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Uh, may your helper of destiny arise uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I, lately, I was studying the book of John, the book of First Samuel, I, and I was looking at Jonathan and David. Uh, what a favor uh, for the uh, just a non entity uh, and nobody uh, to be loved by the king's son. Uh, ah, that is an extra favor. May that extra favor uh, all be released upon you. In the name of Jesus, may you receive that kind of favor. Anywhere you are believing God for contract, for moving forward, for any transaction, may that attraction of favor, may it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, our time is fast spent, but I pray for you as I've prayed for you, that you will begin to see God. Now listen, oh my God, you will see God in a new way. Because from today, your eagles are, they are soaring. Your eagles are soaring. They are going beyond, you, you will be, even begin to say, this is too fast, because the miracles will be so much. Before you talk about one, another one is coming. Before you talk about, look at what the Lord has done. You begin to see that song that Nathaniel, Nathaniel Bassi called that that, that song, uh, see what the Lord has called, what I am waiting for, they have come to pass. That will be your song uh, as you enter the month of July in the name of Jesus. God bless every one of you. Again, I'm your humble servant, Pastor Yemisi Dumoy. I'm humble to be here. Thank you, woman of God. God bless you. Over to you, woman of God. The time is gone. I'm so sorry. God bless you, man. Amen, amen. I'm going to, I'm going to, hallelujah, 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 amen. Hallelujah, glory, 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 hallelujah. Oh my, that was powerful. Oh my, 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 that was powerful. That was beautiful. That was great. God has, that has rained down his blessings abundantly. I feel so filled up with the power to soar. Oh, I am crossing over to take over in this remaining half year 2023 20, from this month of July. Of, of July. In the name of Jesus, oh my God, we have been blessed. The retreat, the refreshing is complete. We are seizing to take over. We are now seizing to, uh, to soar with all manners of, 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 of equipment. We have been bestowed, we have been blessed by the great woman of God. Ah, thank you, thank you so much. Great woman of God, Apostle Dr. Um, Dumoye, Pastor Mrs. I bless God for your life. I thank you for honoring our platform and um, blessing us so much. We have been blessed indeed. I feel equipped to conquer. We are taking over to conquer, to take over. Thank you so much. And I thank everyone that has, has, is on the platform with us tonight. And I know that you all can know and testify that, yes, from now on, your life can never be the same again. I know that you all can confirm that you have been equipped and energized. There has been a mighty outpour and impour of the power of God upon your life right now. The power to soar. I can see it. I can feel it. I felt the power right in me, right here. And I know you all can testify the same. I want to encourage you that you should go in the, in the, in the favor and might of God to soar in the name of Jesus. As you have been equipped tonight, continue to soar and conquer and win. Your helpers of destiny has arisen upon you. The heavens has been opened up. The windows of heaven have been opened continually over you because of this retreat tonight. Because of this outpour tonight, I thank God for your lives. Please let us endeavor to make sure that we are here, um, that we are here tomorrow. I know we have been fulfilled, we have been blessed. I want to encourage you to be here tomorrow, same time, six to seven, 
so that you can come and listen to another aspect of this um, retreat that we're having, which is the mental um, issues, mental health and stress, managing stress. It's going to be a very powerful one by another doctor, a seasoned man of God that is well equipped in this field, mental health. He's going to come to speak to us about our mental health. It's always a very interesting seminar, a very interesting topic that people come and ask questions. They listen. In fact, one hour program, they don't, after one hour, they don't want the, 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 the speaker to go because of the topic. So please endeavor to, to co get connected again this time, again tomorrow, 6 to 7. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming. You are blessed. Your ways are blessed. Your life is blessed. Your children are blessed. The blessing of the God continue to radiate over your life. Continue to arise and shine. Continue to soar like an eagle. Continue to take over to conquer. Take over to uh, 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 cross over to take over. In the name of Jesus, and so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. Glory. Thank you all for watching, and have a blessed night. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Okay. So... Mm-hmm.